Hello everyone, and in this video we're going to be talking about morale. Each single man or multi-man unit has a morale value. In the case of the French hero, it is the number 9 at the top of the counter. With the leader, it is the bottom number, in this case this French leader has a morale of 9. With multi-man units, it is the last number, in this case this French squad has a morale of 7. The morale rating is the number a player must roll less than or equal to with two dice to succeeding certain tasks or to not break when an enemy unit gets a morale check result during combat. When a combat result dictates a unit must check morale, it is termed an MC. Failure of an MC by rolling greater than the morale rating of the unit after modifications will result in the unit being broken, casually reduced or eliminated. If a unit should roll equal to its morale rating, after modifications, it is pinned. If a unit needs to check its morale to perform some action, it is called a task check, or TC. Failure of a TC results in the unit not being able to perform that action during the present phase and stops the unit from performing any other action during that phase. Whenever a MC or TC is required, leaders must check first, going in order of the highest to the lowest morale, before other units. If a leader should be eliminated by any cause, all other friendly units in the same location or if during defensive fire moving in the same stack, must take a leader loss morale check, using the unit's present morale, except for climbers and units in close combat. Any negative leadership dice roll modifier becomes a positive number, and it's added to the leader loss morale check dice roll. If a unit should fail its leader loss morale check, it is broken or casually reduced if already broken. If an unbroken leader should break, this causes a leader loss task check for any unit with a low morale in the same location or during defensive fire moving in the same stack. All rules applying to a leader loss morale check apply to a leader loss task check except a unit failing the leader loss task check, are pinned. Except units not affected by a pin, which are unaffected. In this example, we have two 337 Chinese squads and an 8-1 Chinese leader moving together when they're fired upon and need to take a morale check. We need to actually check the leader's morale first. If it should fail and break, the two 337s need to take a leader loss task check as their morale is lower than the 8 1 leaders. The minus 1 of the leader modifier sometimes becomes a positive 1, so we need to add 1 to both their dice rolls. In this example, we have two British 457 squads. A British 7 naught leader and a broken British 8 minus 1 leader. Now, if they should take a morale check, again we still must roll for the broken leader first as it has a higher morale, followed by the 7 naught leader, followed by either the 457 in any order you wish to apply them. If the broken leader should break again, it's eliminated. That means the British 7 naught leader and both 457 squads must take a leader loss morale check. As the broken leader has a leadership modifier minus 1, this is turned into a positive modifier. So we must add 1 to the dice rolls of all both squads and the 7 naught leader. If, on the other hand, the 7 naught leader should break, this will cause a leader loss task check for both the 457 squads. The 8 1 leader, as it has higher morale than 7 naught, is not affected in any way.
In this example, we have a Italian 6 plus 1 leader and Italian 346 squad in the same hex. If they should have a morale check, affect them. If a 6 plus 1 leader should break, the 346 squad is not affected as they've both got exactly the same morale. Remember, you need to have a lower morale than the actual leader to have a leader loss task check or leader loss morale check affect you. In this example, we have a Romanian 347 squad in P3 and in S3, the Romanian 8 knot leader and the Romanian 347 squad. The 8 knot leader and 347 squad are moving together as a stack and move into T3. If they were obviously attacked, causing a morale check, the leader should break. Only the 347 squad moving with the leader is affected, and not the 347 squad already in T3 before the defensive fire. The only dice roll modifier applicable to an MC or TC dice roll is a leadership modifier of one available leader in the same location or in the same moving stack. The only player of the units may choose which leader's modifier applies. A leader may not apply its own leadership modifier to its MC or TC dice roll, but may use a leadership dice roll of any unbroken leader in the same location or moving stack with a higher morale. If there is a leader in the location you must use that leader's leadership modifier. In this example if the 447 Russian squad has to take a morale check he has to use the plus one leader modifier from the six plus one leader even though this will mean his dice roll be worse. In hex M9 we have a French 457 squad, a French 9-1 leader and a French 10-3 leader. If the 457 squad needs to take a morale check he may use the modifier from either of the two leaders. It's up to the players who owns its choice. In the case of 9-1 leader he may use the minus three modifier from the 10 free leader as the 10 free leader has a higher morale the 10 free leader cannot use the 9 1 leader as it has a lower morale if an unbroken unit rolls an original 12 during the MC it suffers casualty reduction and is broken. If a broken unit rolls an original 12 during an MC, it is eliminated.